Here we go. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL. And here to give you guys my weekly NFL picks and predictions. And of course, we are now talking about week 14 of the NFL season, which is flown by. It always does this. I hate it. I want the NFL season to stay all year long, but it is what it is. All right. So with that being said, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe because I do put out these videos every single week. So if you guys don't want to miss that, hit the bell icon to be notified every time I drop one of these and make sure you are following me guys on all my social media platforms. All right. Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. You got it. Hit the follow right there. All right. With that being said, you guys see behind me, I've got all my picks or not all my picks yet. I'm going to give that to you, but I've got all of the games and I've got all the spreads with the game. So I'm going to be picking all of these games for you guys. Let's get into it. So as always, first things first, we got transparency, right? You know the drill. I got to tell you how I did last week. And last week it was a weird week because when I made the video, there were a couple spreads that weren't out. So the record I'm going to give you guys how I did overall and against the spread is going to be different in the number of games, right? So overall, I went 8-7, and seven, which is very bad, actually, for just picking straight up, right? Like, there were some games that straight up ended up being upsets and whatnot. But still on the right side of 500. And then I went 8-5 and five against the spread. And again, this is why I say two less games picked against the spread. Because when I made the video, two games, one the spread wasn't out. And another one was a pickup. So really no spread. So I'm not going to give myself credit there. Uh, so that's how I did last week. So again, still positive. But uh, I do want to continue to improve on that. So what does that bring my overall record to... So here we go. Overall on the season, uh, now that brings me to um, 130, 60, and 1. That's 130 games predicted correctly, 60 incorrect, and 1 tie. That's about 68% um, you know, correct games predicted. Okay, and then against the spread, which is I think what you guys mainly care about, or I think you guys care about, I am now 102... 84 and 1, which is about 55%. So not bad. All right, so those are my records overall and against the spread. You guys can go check the tape. I don't lie here. Everything's on tape. So let's get into this week's picks. All right, so here we go. Let's get started. The first game is the Thursday night game, New England Patriots at the Los Angeles Rams. And it's a five and a half point spread. So this is a tough game for me to figure out because we've got two teams that are tough to figure out, right? A Rams team... That, I think, is a good team, but, you know, you you have those occasional weird games like they lose to the 49ers twice. Again, division rival, maybe that's the reason. And then New England, which has looked really bad all season long, they can barely get passing yards, but yet somehow they end up winning games, right? And they blow out the Chargers last week 45 to nothing. Like, again, these two teams, they are different. So, and they're weird, and they're hard to figure out. So this is a tough one. But I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to give the advantage to the Rams. I believe the Rams are the better team here. I believe they have the better offense. Folks, the, the Patriots' offense is just abysmal. Like, they're winning games because of their defense, their special teams, and their coaching, right? Bill Belichick, the GOAT coach, that's the reason why. Cam Newton's barely passing for not even 100. He's not even passing for, like, 75 yards, right? It's been, like, 60s, 60s, 70s. Something like that. So it's been crazy how low passing their offense is. They just run the football and they just, you know, play good defense. And again, I'm not saying that's bad. Whatever works, works. But point is, their offense through the air isn't a threat. Now, I know the Rams like to run the football too, but they can air it out. So I do see this being a fairly close game, which is why I don't like that spread. So I think you guys can figure out where I'm going here. I'm going to go with the Rams to win this game, but I will take the Patriots to cover that five and a half points. But all right, moving on to the Sunday games. We've got the Houston Texans at the Chicago Bears. My Chicago Bears, who I have lost all hope in, and this season is pretty much a wrap as they have lost six straight games, and I think it's going to become seven, right? I'm going to go ahead and do it, pick the Texans to win here, even though the Bears uh, are at home here. Look, here's the thing, folks. This Bears offense was already awful to begin with they've looked better but they were awful but now the bears defense looks awful and that's my main reasoning here because 
If I can't even depend on the Bears defense, then what can I depend on? So I can't pick the Bears to win here because, like I said, the only thing I could depend on was that defense, and now it's looked awful the past two weeks, right? Just awful, awful, awful. What's going on with the Bears here? The Texans, even without Will Fuller, should be able to win this game. I got them winning. And it's a two-point spread. I think they can I can I think they can easily cover that here. So I've got the Houston Texans beating the Chicago Bears. Moving on to the Tennessee Titans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. And let me just say this. Let me just say this. Um I picked the Jaguars to cover last week uh in their game against the Vikings. And I just suggest you pick the Jags every week to cover. Because they just cover every single week. We think it's gonna be a blowout all the they just cover. Like so. It's a seven and a half point spread, which I think is kind of low. I, I thought it would be more, but I guess Vegas is figuring out the Jaguars play hard. They play tough and they find a way to cover. So what am I going to do? I'm going to have them cover again and I'm going to pick the Titans here because the Titans are the better team coming off a, a bad loss against the Browns. They're going to look to bounce back. I see a heavy dosage of Derek Trenner here just pounded down, uh, you know, the, the Jaguars and they're awful against the run. So in theory, you think this should be a blowout, right? But the Jags somehow find a way to cover. And shout out again to James Robinson, who's been an absolute stud for them. Okay, so I got the Jags covering that 7.5 points spread, but the Titans win. Moving on to the Denver Broncos at the Carolina Panthers, minus 3.5 points in favor of the Panthers here. And this one's another tough game, two bad teams. And look, here's the thing. But I'm kind of torn between two bad teams. I'm really usually going with the home team here. And also, they're getting Christian McCaffrey back. I'm talking about, of course, the Carolina Panthers. So I'm going to go with the Panthers here. Look, the Broncos, they are a mess. Uh, just not a fan of Drew Locke. Obviously, their offense has been abysmal. And uh, the best chance here to move the football is through the run. Can they win this game? Sure, absolutely. The Panthers aren't world beaters. So three and a half points spread. If that was a three-point spread, I'd probably take the Panthers to cover that. But because of the .5, I'll go ahead and take the Broncos here to cover that moving on to the Dallas Cowboys and the Cincinnati Bengals and Cowboys fans I feel your pain it has been an abysmal season but you know what you're going up against another bad team so you should be able to handle business here or so you think even on the road here Cowboys favored by three and a half look I am not at all ever trusting uh, you know, Brandon Allen here for the Bengals. If it was Joe Burrow, it'd be a different case. But no, I'm sorry. I, I'm not picking the Bengals here. No, uh, possibly they could have Joe Mixon this week. So even if there's no Joe Mixon, I, I can't do it. I can't pick the Bengals. I'm sorry. Uh, moving on to the Kansas City Chiefs at the Miami Dolphins. You know I'm going to pick the Chiefs here. The only question is, do they cover that 7.5 point spread? And look, I think this would be a game where I would pick the Dolphins to cover the seven points if Ryan Fitzpatrick was playing. But I just can't see Tua Tagovailoa, a rookie quarterback, being able to hang with Patrick Mahomes and company. So I don't think that happens. I'm going to go with the Chiefs here to cover the seven-point spread and win that game. Moving on to the Arizona Cardinals at the New York Giants. And Giants have been a, quite a pleasant surprise here. The Cardinals, outside of that DeAndre Hopkins Hail Mary touchdowns, they've they would be on a major losing streak right now. So they haven't looked good. But, again, you're going up against a Giants team who just when everybody's going to start trusting them, I'm backing off. I don't trust Colt McCoy here. Let me go with the Cardinals here. I think it's going to be a very close game. But I'm going to go with the Cardinals here. I just don't see – well, I can see the Giants upsetting them, but it wouldn't really be a major upset. It's only a, a two-point spread. But, again – I think the Cardinals come out here. They they show a little bit of urgency and they go ahead and win this game. I think Kyler Murray has a has a good game, especially on the ground. So I think they cover the minus two again. If it was a bigger spread, I'd probably take the Giants to cover, but minus two is not bad. All right, moving on to the Minnesota Vikings at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know I'm gonna go with the Bucks here. I think they're just a better team. And minus six and a half, I like that. I jump on that before it goes to like seven, seven and a half. The Vikings are. Uh, a solid team, but their best weapon, Dalvin Cook, he's going to go up against a number one rush defense in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So you neutralize Dalvin Cook, you neutralize the Vikings. Uh, so I can't, I can't pick the Vikings here. I got to go with the Bucks. Indianapolis Colts at the Las Vegas Raiders. This should be a fun game. I think this is going to be a back and forth game, but I got to go with the Colts here. Just the better, better overall team, um, better coaching, better offensive line. I mean, we're talking about the Raiders who. 
Would have lost to the Jets, let's be honest here, if, if the Jets weren't the Jets. And uh, I can't pick uh, the Raiders here, even at home. Could they pull off, pull this off? Absolutely. But I'm going to go with the Colts here. I just think they're a better team. And minus three, I like that. If it was like three and a half, four, I'd probably take the Raiders to cover. But three, I will take the Colts to cover that. Speaking of the Jets, Jets against the Seattle Seahawks. You know I'm picking the Seahawks. I haven't picked the Jets a single game this season. And I'm 100%. Perfect. So I'm going to keep that going here. Uh... I'm the only talking about money line, guys, not against the spread. But against the spread, I picked this, the Jets last week to cover, and they did. And I'm picking them again here because this is a massive number here, minus 13, folks. The Seattle Seahawks have made a grave mistake by not letting Russ cook anymore. And if Pete Carroll decides to run the damn football and keep it out of Russell Wilson's hands, this Seahawks team is going to go down in flames. So he better start letting Russ cook again and air it out here. Either which way, their pass defense is awful. I can see the Jets put up points here. I'm going to take them to cover, but the Seahawks win. Moving on to the Packers at the Detroit Lions. You know I'm going to win with the Packers here to win this game. It's all about if they cover the minus eight. And I got to tell you, I don't think they do. I'm going to go with the Lions here. Look, this always happens. New head coach, right? Or you fire your head coach and you have an interim coach. You play harder for him. It's a division game. I'm telling you, these division games tend to be tough. And I'm not saying the Lions are better than the Packers. Absolutely not. But I am saying in a game, could they hang? Yes. Matt Stafford's playing well. Green Bay's feeling themselves a little bit. So I'm going to go with the, the, the Lions here to cover. I think it's going to be a closer game than you think. They're at home. It's going to be a shootout, I believe. So I'm going to go with the Detroit Lions to cover. But the Packers to win. Atlanta Falcons at the Los Angeles Chargers. And man, the Chargers are going to bounce back from that. They better. Because that was a, a, abysmal. I picked them to win. This was That was one of my worst losses of the entire season. How do you get shut out 45 to nothing? I think there's a perfect bounce back spot. You go up against Atlanta at home. Uh, minus two and a half point spread. So again, I'm not, you know, I'm not picking a huge upset here. So I'm going to go with the Chargers. I think Justin Herbert, Keenan Allen, Austin Eckler all have big games. So give me the Chargers to win that game straight up. That's a, um, uh, that's an underdog I'm picking. Saints at the Eagles. I got another underdog I'm picking here for you. Another upset. I'm going to go with the Eagles here to win straight up. Minus seven is the spread. Folks, hear me out. We got the new quarterback change with Jalen Hurts, right? And this also, also always happens, all right? New quarterback team plays better the first game than you think, right? So the offense is going to look better. It can't look worse, right? I mean, it was awful with Carson Wentz. It can't look worse than that. So Team's going to look better. Offense is going to look better. I believe they're going to run the football. So a heavy dose of Miles Sanders. And on the defense side, it's Taysom Hill. Now, Taysom Hill's been admirable in the three starts for Drew Brees. He's undefeated. But if this was Drew Brees, it would be a different case. Taysom Hill, I believe the Eagles defense is going to find a way to neutralize him. And it's going to be a low-scoring game. But I am taking the Eagles upset. The Saints here and win this game. This is my bowl call of the week here. So... I could be horribly wrong, but I'm going to do it. Eagles win this game. Moving on to the Washington football team at the San Francisco 49ers. And, folks, that was an impressive win by the Washington football team last week against the Pittsburgh Steelers. But, again, this is kind of what you develop after watching the NFL for years. Teams that are on a high, they usually come down on a low here. I'm going to go with the Niners coming off a brutal loss to the Bills. I think they bounce back, and I think the – Football team, I don't know if I've called them the Redskins. I shouldn't have. My, my apologies. I've been calling the football team, I hope. The Washington football team should be able to, um, you know, keep this competitive. But I don't think they win this game. Three and a half is what they are favored in this one, the 49ers. So, actually, I'll take the Washington football team to cover that. Let me rephrase that. I thought it was a three-point spread. Three and a half. Give me Washington football team to cover that. But I think the 49ers will win. Again, folks. Just because of what happened last week doesn't mean it's going to happen this week, right? Pittsburgh Steelers at Buffalo Bills. And speaking of last week, yeah, the, the Steelers will win this game. I am very confident in this one. I could be completely wrong because I picked the 49ers last week. But give me the Bills this week against the Buffalo Bills. Coming off a high, and they're feeling like they're on top of the world. Josh Allen, you know, everybody thinks that he's the top five quarterback. Yeah, I, I'm going with the Steelers here. They're, I think, even on the road, going to pummel them. Josh Allen's going to have a bad game. Give me the Steelers. And finally... Ravens at Browns, and I got the Browns here. It's a pick em. It's a pick em, so no spread. Got the Browns here, folks. I haven't been a believer in the Ravens all season long. 
I think the Browns are for real. And if they're able to run the football and they're able to, you know, keep it mistake-free, Baker Mayfield's able to not turn the football over. I think this is a change in the guard here in the division, folks. I like the Browns more than the Ravens. So there you have it. My picks and predictions for week 14. Now, some of you guys asked me which picks am I most confident on. If I'm going money line, like just straight up, because again, sometimes versus spread is too hard. If I'm doing money line, I'm very confident in the Chiefs winning. I am very confident in the Packers winning. I'm very confident in the Seahawks winning. And I think I would say, yeah, Titans beat the Jags. I'm very confident there. And I'm fairly confident in Tampa Bay and Minnesota. But I'd probably say these four for sure over the other ones. So there you have it. Hopefully that helps you guys. Let me know if it does. As always, thanks for watching.